Hello, welcome to Let Me Bore You to Sleep dot com. My name is Jason Newland. This is Let Me Bore You to Sleep. Please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. What I thought I'd do today is, and this is really boring, this is proper boring. I'm going to go through the process of what I do once I've recorded a session. So before I started this, I've just recorded a deep sleep whisper hypnosis session. And before that, I recorded my sleep, uh, was it weekly sleep hypnosis or sleep? Is it sleep hypnosis weekly? Yeah, that's it. Uh, so that lasted about an hour and the uh, deep sleep one lasts about 20 minutes a little bit of gas just came out of my my mouth then, that's nice isn't it so uh, I'm just drinking my last can of coke I'm not going to buy any more for a while because See, in February I was 101 kilos. Three weeks ago, or two weeks ago, something like that, I was 95 kilos. Yesterday I was 90, about 98 kilos. So, it's going in the wrong direction. And this is basically, got, uh, I got very high cholesterol, according to my doctor. So I, I need to lose some weight and eat a bit better and you know, I need to basically, I talked about this, you know, a few weeks ago, I just need to get the cholesterol level down, so I thought I was because of the weight going down, but now it's going up, I'm going to have to uh, reevaluate it. So I'm going to start being a bit more careful and I'm going to stop drinking coke and just eat a little bit better and hopefully manage to get to the gym. So I've got a gym membership and I've, not, I've only used it once since 1998. So yeah, I need to get back there. Apparently I broke the treadmill, but it's okay. Uh, now that I've lost a bit of weight, I should be able to go back. <laughs> should be allowed to go back. I think my band would have run out by now. So here's the process. I basically, I record, I make the recording. Um, I upload it to the podcast but it's uploaded in its raw form. So what I need to do, and I'll, let's have a look. I'll do it now. So let me just have a quick look at the statistics first to see where I was in the current week. <sighs> That's 
it's a relatively quiet day yesterday. I had uh, 1,476 downloads. So on Wednesday I had 2,412 downloads. Thursday 1,686. 1,476 Friday. Monday and Tuesday were over 2,000. And today so far, Saturday the 25th, 232 downloads. So it comes and goes, you know. It's just the way it is. It's uh, sometimes I have 3,000 and it's always going up, but kind of it dips and goes up and dips and goes up a bit further and but ultimately the end of the month is always much higher than the, the beginning of the month if that makes sense and so one yeah okay so just have a look at that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Which one should I do first? I'll do the first one I did, so... Sleep Hypnosis Weekly. So I'll click on that podcast. This is on Spreaker. So what I do... I told you this is boring. It really is boring. So, just warning you. I know that's what this is about, but... I'm really warning you. That's why, it, you know... It's tedious, but... So I've got a list of podcasts that I've uploaded on that podcast, like episodes. So I've got Sleep Hypnosis Weekly 1 up to 11. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And I started doing new ones for the Sleep Hypnosis Weekly at number eight, and that was twenty uh, sixth of April, and done one every week, every Friday since. And so, technically, it's Saturday now, but it's Friday for me because I've not gone to bed yet. My Saturday does not start until I get out of bed after sleeping. So I've done one, two, three, four, four weeks, four recordings, and then this is my fifth one, episode 12. So what I do, I go into episode 11, or Sleep Hypnosis Weekly number 11, and I copy, I copy that title I come out and then I go into edit episode 12 which at the moment just says episode 12 sleep hypnosis weekly Jason Newland so I delete that and I paste in sleep hypnosis episode 11 change it to 12 and that's it And then I put it into the description box. Although I really am aiming to start putting in some actual proper descriptions. I might actually get more more downloads if people knew what they were listening to. But never mind. So I'm going to save that. So it's not public yet. It's still private. Then I go down... On the left hand side of the page there's episode info which is what the page I'm on now there's episode audio file episode sharing ads option and delete episode so I'm going to click on episode audio file and at the top it says replace media so it gives a choice of download episode or replace the down is in grey, 
down at the other side, grey box, white writing. The replace is a yellow box with black writing. And then underneath that is the actual, um, the episode, you know, the podcast, you can play it. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to download the episode. So it's downloaded into my laptop. And it is 55.6 megabytes. So it's now downloaded. So I click on it on the the, the podcast, uh, you know, the download, and I've got three options. Open, always open files of this type and show in folder. So I click on show in folder and my download folder comes up and the down the actual download is highlighted. So what I do is I click I left click to rename and then I just paste in the title the episode which is Sleep Hypnosis Weekly 12 Jason Newland in brackets and then also in brackets New Sessions Fridays and then sleephypnosisweekly.com and next to that I type in unedited in capitals and return and now it's saved so I come out of that I go into the editor, the audio editor, and I open up the file. So it opens up the the downloads file. So I've got to go down and look. What was the number? 12, oh it's, yeah. Sleep Hypnosis Weekly. So I've got to go down to S. Uh, where is it? Okay, Sleep Hypnosis Weekly number 12. So I click on that and it opens up. It's going to take 2 minutes and 17 seconds to open. So it's, although it's not a large file, what is it, 56 megabytes or whatever. In order for it to open up for the editor, it takes a few minutes. It takes even longer to actually um, save and process. Excuse me, whatever you want to call it. Got a lot of gas today, haven't I? And I won't edit it out. I like to leave farts and burps in. It's all part of my charm. It's all part of my professionalism. You know, I had this little dream. This, just one day I'll be discovered and um, like a, I don't know, an agent would come along. Not like a special agent with a gun, CIA or anything like that, but um, like a talent agent or a, a record company and say you know what we like what you do it's very different from anything else and uh, we've heard some good things about you and I'll say oh what have you listened to and they say the sleep stuff we really like your sleep stuff and I say oh excellent I would like you to do some like put together one and uh, or you know, like to really kind of listen to a little bit more uh, of your, maybe your latest one. And I say, okay, cool. But what I won't know is that they like my sleep hypnosis sessions. You know, the deep sleep whisper or the sleep hypnosis weekly. And I send them a link to a let me bore you to sleep. So instead of hearing me go in and. Yes, and you can notice that sense of relaxation 
in your toes, spreading into your ankles. And you may notice how it spreads naturally, even though you're not trying to cause your calf muscles to relax deeply, but they just naturally do so in the same way that your mind starts to slow down in its own time. And you know, I like that kind of stuff, and they're expecting that. And then they hear me farting and talking about ferrets and just do it, talking silly stuff. Basically, it would just be the end of my very short career, wouldn't it? So, well, that would be quite fun, you know. Wow, okay, so I'm looking at this now. Here's what I do. Here's to give you a little idea of my little techniques. Clearly, I'm not a professional recording person. I do have a bit of equipment and stuff, but... I, you know, I'm not, I haven't got a recording studio and I'm trying to, I'm trying to improve the quality of things, but that's more due to technology enhancements than anything else. I mean, I, I think I'm better at what I do than I used to be due to experience, or I hope I am, unless I've just got worse, but the quality of the recordings, the quality of the technology to be able to uh, make clear recordings and it's just, you know, editing and stuff like that. It's a lot, just a lot more available. It's a lot easier than it used to be for me. And uh, in some ways it's cheaper as well. If you, you know, if you just go for some of the, there's apps that you can use, but what it does, it takes time to find out which ones work and which podcasts work the best, which podcast applications, uh, recording studios, online stuff that works uh, the best for you. And I suppose I've had the luxury of time and I've tested pretty much everything. I've, I've pretty, you know, pretty much been a member, a paid member of nearly every podcast host and tested out the services, figured out how to work at all. Some of it I've stopped using because it just they don't have enough space for what I need. Because not many podcasters are as prolific as I am. I think they go for quality rather than quantity. I just go for quantity. I just I, I I kick quality out of the window. No quality involved with me. It's all quantity. Nothing but farts, you know. But hey, we've got to be. We all got good at something, haven't we? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try and do this quite low though, but I need to be able to listen to the beginning of the recording and edit it, so if there's any like loud sounds, hopefully there isn't, um, but when I look at the screen I can see a few big jumps on the, it's like lots of I don't know, you've probably seen it on TV, you know when you see a, a video, or like an audio recording, and it goes up and down, and you know, up, you know, through the line, there's one line, and it kind of, little bits of speech, well that's what I'm looking at now on the screen, and the, there's a few jumps, so I need to check, it might just be going like that, or yawning or something which I do a lot of, especially <laughs> as it's getting on to time for my bed, it is, when I've finished recording this, I will upload it, I'll do the same thing as what I'm doing now, X 
except I won't be talking while I'm doing it. Um, oh, excuse my God, there's a lot of gas. I don't normally do lots of burps when I make these recordings, but it's... Uh, function competition going on right here we are so what I do if I start the recording and it goes a bit silly I start laughing or I start coughing or it's some you know Andre starts running around you know because I like the beginning to be fairly quiet if he if Andre introduces himself during the recording, then that's not so bad. Um, so what I do is, if I start making a recording and I'm sort of saying, hello, welcome to blah, blah, blah. And then I want to start again. What I do is I'll start making lots of noise not a lot of noise I and mean, I'm not I don't get a drum kit out or anything but I might tap the microphone not with a hammer but just gently just so that it shows up on the screen it doesn't say tapping gently you know, it's, not, it's not written on the screen but you can see it because it's well you, you, <laughs> you can't see it but I can so here we go I'm just going to play this it shouldn't be too loud, hopefully. Hello. See, that's all I do. So if you you might not even be able to hear it. Hello. Welcome to sleep hypnosis week. So that's it. Quite often I have it a little bit louder than that, so I can hear it. But and then what I do is I. do a fade in so I, I click on a little bit into about halfway through the hello welcome and I click and I go to the effects and I fade in so so that's it so I'm just going to check this bit where it's making a noise In fact, I'm going to get rid of that. I don't know what on earth that was. It's very strange. So that happens occasionally. What I might have done is I might have banged the microphone by accident. Here's another one here. So there I'm in a little bit of a commandery. It's not really a word, is it? Commandery? Commandery? So I coughed. Now, do I leave it in or do I leave it out? Or do I try and edit it? But then it's in the middle of a sentence. And depends if it's right at the beginning of the recording. Kind of doesn't matter. Technically, because if, you know... It's, this is an hour, I don't know how long it is, about an hour long. So, you know, chances are people aren't going to be asleep within two minutes, or that they might be. So I don't want to wake someone up by coughing. I try and use the mute button if I think I'm going to cough. And it, it doesn't mute it, it just pauses the recording. And then I press, you know, so occasionally I have to do that. Um, but you don't want to be listening to someone coughing all the way through a, a like, you know, sleep session. Uh, so it just, just means that I can do it. So even if I've got a cold or whatever, I can still make a recording. It just takes a little bit longer, that's all. 
so I don't know what to do with this. This is quite a big thing, so I'm gonna listen again. So I do, I'll magnify it to see if there's a way of getting rid of that cough without interrupting the sentence. There might be. Let's have a look. Let's have a look again. So where's the bit of no idea? do is edit that out and I, I don't generally like to edit stuff out but when it comes to things like coughing and I don't really feel the need that it needs to be in there so I'm gonna fade in to that bit Okay, so what's this then? No idea what I did last week. No idea what the recording did. So let's go down again. So this isn't something that I normally do, so it's quite unusual. Um, but it was such a, a big, obviously a loud thing on there that I needed to look at it. Because in the old days, I didn't, <laughs> I really didn't bother. And there was no fading in, there was no fading out. There was, um, there'd be background sounds, there'd be, there still is now, but there'd be like proper, um, I just, yeah, I didn't edit, didn't bother editing at all. And even though I don't, I try not to edit very much, I do go through it just to check. I mean, most of the time it's just me going, it's like, it's just mouthy sounds. From the looks of it, the rest of it's fine. If I just minimize it, so I can see, yeah, that's fine. So I'll go down, i go to the end. Yeah, it's sort of, it's like, yeah. I mean, it's not a whisper session, so it's, it's okay to have, you know, like normal, it's still softly spoken. I mean, everything I do pretty much is softly spoken, but. So I'm just so I'm getting very gentle at the moment, like the end of this one. just do that fade out so that should be okay so if I just go in there and check so I'm just fading out the end now probably can't hear it so 
so it's, it's too much gap between sleep and so if I fade out again that's all right it's done so this session lasts for 59 minutes and 58 seconds so it was well it's literally an hour I mean it's not far off is it so it's uh, it's, le it's less it's just over one second under an hour so what I do now is I go to save it or export it and the file comes up the whole thing so I save it as I take away the sleephypnosisweekly.com and the unedited bit so I take that away so I can see the difference between the two and I save and that's it then it comes to edit the metadata so I put in artist name, which is me. Track title, I just copy in, I just paste in. The year, 2019. And comments, I just put in the, the track title again. Now I just wait. And it's five minutes, 28 minutes. Five minutes, 28 seconds to be, for it to be exported. And the entire file at 128 kbps or whatever that means so there's things I can do when I'm doing this what I do is I go to Google and I discover some very strange things have come up so I, I'll get rid of those goodbye and what I do now is I'm going to go to the website for my sleep week. What is this? Um, so go to GoDaddy, which is where my website is hosted for, the, for this one, for the Sleep Hypnosis Weekly. My main, my main website, jasonnewland.com, is a different place. So I need to sign in here. Yeah, I need to sign in and go to the products page because that's where the WordPress site is. Let's go to products. So it's kind of like preparing for what needs to be done next. So when it actually does upload, I'll be uploading it. I'll be replacing the file on Spreaker. Told you this is boring. <laughs> but I don't care. The colour of your hair. Okay, so look. Alright, so now I'm going to sleephypnosisweekly.com. So I'm the developer of that on website. So I'm just clicking on it. Go to the WP admin, so that's WordPress admin. Just waiting for it to open up. So I go back to the editor, the audio editor, to see how I'm getting on with that. So there's still seven minutes and two seconds left. Wow, has that gone up? Wasn't it less than that a minute ago? Oh well. Right, so I've gone to the Sleep Hypnosis Weekly, Jason Newland. That's the uh, the website for this particular podcast, for the session that I'm uploading. So what I do, I go to the statistics page just to see how it's getting on. 
what kind of because uh, it's a relatively new podcast I've only had it running um, yeah I think for about I think since May the 5th I think is when I from the looks of it that's when I first uploaded it but I didn't get any visitors till the 8th that was one visit two visits on the 9th 10th 7th so yeah so the 7th was since it's made the 5th but I've had so I've not had a lot 134 visits no 71 visitors 134 visits and 20 days so since it's growing but it's, it's slow it's just it's a new website and the last 30 days it's the same isn't it so so yesterday last 7 days rather I had 30 visitors 63 visits and yesterday it's a slow day yesterday I had 2 visitors and 4 visits today so far I've had 1 visitor and 2 visits so people are going to different pages and listening and stuff and don't forget most people most people, or well, don't forget, I don't know if you might not have remembered to start with, but uh, most people listening to this podcast will be listening on podcast host like Spotify or iTunes or the various different ones, Spreaker or whatever, but the most popular ones the most popular pages is being Sleep Hypnosis Weekly number 10 so far but it's, it's quite interesting because I don't do anything to promote this website other than just let people know that that's the name of the website if they want to go to it and you know it's, and it's only a weekly podcast as well so it's not going to get possibly as much traffic as the regular daily ones. But I'm still quite pleased, considering I haven't. There's no search engine referrals yet. Um, it's all just people going to the from directly from to the first page. So it's people are just probably just linking, clicking the link on Facebook. I don't know. Where are they coming from? No, it's not saying. It says the browsers, but it's not. It's Chrome, Firefox, Safari. Top referring sites, securing it, and brand new web blogs. But no, brand new blogs so there's no like search engines so the search engines haven't really kind of recognised my website yet which is okay there's no comments on here yet either I can't believe I'm telling you I should just be making up saying yeah, I've had thousands in the last week but I haven't not on the website I've had thousands of uh, downloads uh, on that podcast itself, let me have a look. No, I can't yet. I'll tell you in a minute though. Oh no, I will. Might as well. It's still going. If I go to the actual podcast, right? So if I go to open a new link. So I go to this podcast, the Sleep Hypnosis Weekly Show Stats. So it's not bad considering I've only got 13 recordings, or 14 now, no, 12, sorry, 11, no, 11 recordings, but 12, but that's not been uploaded yet, it's not available yet. I've had... 
14,210 total downloads, 232 total plays, and 11 listenable episodes. And the last, the current week, um, ah, that's weird, I suppose, is it? Anyway, I had 95 downloads on Sunday the 12th, 118 downloads on the 13th, that's Monday, Tuesday is 102 downloads, Wednesday was 89, Thursday was 113, Friday was 68, so that's low. Saturday, and this is now, just in the last few hours, 218 uh, downloads. So basically, I think what happens is... No, that was last week. That was last week. Yeah, so every every Saturday there's a big jump. So the Saturday before was 234 downloads. The Saturday before that was 205. So because they release them every week, they get a big jump. So this week... Saturday the 18th, would that be? Yeah, Saturday the 18th, 218. Sunday was 150. Monday was 95. Tuesday was 127. Wednesday was 122 downloads. Thursday was 114. Yesterday was 80 downloads. And so far there's nine today. So there's a there's a, like a, a boost every time I do a new a new one. So I get rid of that. So it's now edited. Is uh, it's processed. So and what I can do now is replace the episode. So I replace it. So it's Sleep Weekly Twelve. I need to go to downloads. This is why I had to name them separate because. So I can find the things. So I've got two Sleep Hypnosis 12, but one has got the word unedited. So I delete that. Which leaves me just one Sleep Hypnosis Weekly number 12. Click on that. And now it's replacing the file. That takes doesn't take long, about like a minute or something. So I'm just uh, so when this is done, I'm going to share it with. I'll share it on Facebook. I have to make it public first and then I share on Facebook my normal page and then my group uh, night like my hypnosis page and then I'll share it on Twitter and then I share it on another one which I can't remember the name of it and then I share it on YouTube So I'm just waiting for it to open up. It's saying, just a moment, please. The section is loading. So what I'll do, I'm just going to put the computer on mute as well. So it's in case something, in case I get a notification or something. So what I do, it's now done. I'll go to episode info again. And I will click on public and save. So now the episode was successfully updated. 
so I go to I now click back 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 so I go to the main part of the podcast and I click on share the share button so Facebook to start with all I do is I just post the title and that's it so that's now being posted to Facebook I'm waiting for that to go through so now I'm posting on Facebook again but this time it's going to be to my hypnosis page so I click on share on a page you manage and this is Jason Newland hypnotist so that's now posted so there's a picture of sleep hypnosis weekly should come up on there next I'll share to Twitter clicked on that that's shared now tumblr these are just the ones that come up on there I, I could share others but it means going into each one individually you know there's enough to do now I'll share onto YouTube so I click share and it says the episode has been enqueued for sharing on YouTube so that's it that is I'm coming back to that but I need to share on other podcasts so what I do is I go to Hypnosis for Sleeping Deeply which is a podcast where all of my sleep sessions are so there's 328 episodes on there so I upload this down to what's the number of it? Sleep hypnosis. Yeah, okay. So I'm now uploading this one. But once I share it to this podcast, I just click on it to go public, and that's it. I don't share it anywhere else from this podcast. It's just on there, and I share it to another two podcasts as well. Then. I'm going to put it onto my website. Then the whole process starts again with the deep sleep whisper session. But instead of trying to do two at the same time, which meant it would save time in some ways because one would be editing while the other one's doing that, it would just be a bit too confusing. I'd rather just get one done at a time so I know where I am. So now that's uploaded, so I'll click on the edit and I'll just put in a description. Click in that, publish now, yes, publish, done. And I might as well give you the stats for the hypnosis for sleeping deeply. So I've had 38,310 total downloads for there. 1,792 total plays, 329 listenable episodes now, uh, and that's since November, I guess, I don't know. So I have different days, different amounts each day, you know, so, for example, uh, you know, this some were, the 8th of May I had 754 downloads. Um, the 13th of May 552 15th 515 but, but then other days uh, like one day I got 220 downloads so it just it does vary but if I look at current week uh, Sunday last Sunday the, nine, the, eight, yeah, the 19th I had 317 downloads Monday 252 downloads, Tuesday 296 downloads, Wednesday 322 downloads, 
Thursday 278 downloads uh, Friday 370 downloads so that was yesterday and today so far the last two or, th two or three hours 67 downloads and yeah so that's that's that. So the deep sleep whisper recording I did yesterday has had 113 downloads, and it's weird. It's the different ones get different things. So the let me boy to sleep, um, 150. Yeah, number 155, which was two days ago, has had 151 downloads. But yesterday's Let Me Boil to Sleep is at 85. And uh, Deep Sleep Whisper 97 is at a 95. But 98 is at 113. So it's, there's no rhyme or reason for it. I don't, I don't know. really don't know. It's hard to know why people listen to each individual one. I just keep going, really. Um, so that's it. So I won't go too deep into the stats. So that's that one. So now what I do is I go to sleep insomnia hypnosis. So it's basically it's the same process. Uh, I upload all my sleep sessions to this one as well. So it's two podcasts. You may say, why well, have two podcasts that are kind of pretty much the same? Well, they've both got a different audience, that's why. And they both get a lot of, well, they're two of the most popular podcasts that I've got. Which may seem strange, but that is the way it is. So it's now uploading 31%, 2, 35, 36, 40%. 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 55, 6, 7, 61, 62, 65, 69, 70, it's nearly there, 70, 80 percent, and So this is now done, no, okay, it's now done, 100%. So again, I'll just click on the edit, put in the description, just paste, publish now. So that's published. So that's the Sleep Insomnia Hypnosis dash Jason Newland. So 331 episodes on that one. Total downloads, 30,692 total play is 954 and again this changes um, uh, you know May the 13th 577 downloads uh, you know and they vary I mean this week this current week I've had Sunday was 317 downloads Monday 317 well that's weird I also get plays as well but I'm not telling you those they're just they're less but I just I focus on the downloads but s sometimes I get 30 40 50 plays a day or whatever um yes yeah, so Tuesdays 585 downloads Wednesdays 358 downloads Thursday is 301 downloads. Yesterday, Friday, was 333 downloads. And today so far had 41 downloads. So again, it's it's a, a mixture. It's a mixture of you know, all different sleep sessions that I've done. And you know, different ones are popular with different people. And lastly, 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 I'm going to upload it to my Jason Newland Free Hypnosis Service podcast. 
and with this one I upload every episode of every session a new session I do whether it's pain relief relaxation sleep whatever and oh, I didn't want that to happen I'll close that okay just trying to upload it upload please do it properly please I have this podcast again with quite a few different podcast hosts and on here although not all of my recordings are on here I do have 785 episodes so the majority of my stuff is on there but there's still a fair bit missing it's like over 200 episodes or sessions that aren't on there so what I do is I post the podcast on quite a few places but I have it so it's just on some of those places it just shows the latest episode but the stats on this one are quite low because it's a new podcast only it's only like a, a week or so maybe two weeks old because I replaced it because I used to have a SoundCloud podcast and I kind of decided to get rid of that and I needed a, a new RSS feed so I did this one so that's that's uploaded now so if I look at statistics for this okay oh it's a little bit longer than I thought so I've had this since the 28th of uh, April and it's I've had 6,694 downloads 140 plays that's in the last month and you don't get huge amounts of uh, activity on this. It really does vary. Um, really, you see what I mean. So I'd say Sunday had 17 downloads, but Monday had 344 downloads. Tuesday, 48 downloads. Wednesday, 521 downloads. Thursday, 167 downloads. Yesterday, Friday, 16 downloads. Do you see the difference? It's like, there's no, and so far, three downloads. In fact, I've had more plays, six plays. This podcast, I get more plays than with any other, you know, so I've got 20 plays, 12, 11, 7. So I'm getting plays on each day for this podcast for some reason. But it's it's not um, considering how many recordings I've got on there. But then I've only had it running for a little while. It's only up, up low, you know, up and available for a short period. So six, nearly 7,000 downloads in a month is not bad for the first month of it so that'll grow but I've got all I do is just upload new sessions when I make them I don't do anything else for that one so now I'm going to go to WordPress again to the sleephypnosisweekly.com add new I'm going to add a new post. And it's taking its time, so I add a title. So that's what I've done. And then I go to, have to go back to the podcast. I didn't realize how long it takes. Imagine this is just for one. This has been over an hour it's taken me just to. I've never timed myself before. I didn't realise it took so long. Um, 
Oh, is it sleep hypnosis weekly? So this is the editing and the uploading just for one recording. It's taking over an hour. Plus the hour of recording it. And I've still not finished. I'm still like in the process of doing it. So now I need to embed the podcast episode into my website. So I click on all the bits, start play automatically, uh, start play automatically when a live starts, okay, that's elements visible, Spreaker logo, yeah, it's fine, likes, comments and shares and downloads, so I click all those boxes. So I'm not hiding the fact that it's on Spreaker because I'm all over the internet and, you know, it's, I think Spreaker's great, so... If it promotes them, I'm fine with that. I don't care. It's a good, it's a really good podcast host. In fact, if they had some kind of affiliates again, I'd happily promote them. If they, you know, I'd I'd, I'd apply for that because they're really good. Seriously. So WordPress embed. So that's what I'm getting now because it's a WordPress. Uh, it's a WordPress site, so it's a different um, code that I put in. So now I click that, I stick it into the short code box, which would mean nothing probably to some. Set feature image, so that will be the picture of the sleep hypnosis weekly. There you go. Select. And then publish. And what I might do is just have a little view of the post just to make sure it's working properly. And it's working absolutely groovy. So I look at the archives, let's check that the other one is as well. 11 last week's one yeah that's working fine as well so cool so that's all done that my little Cherokees is that allowed to say Cherokees my little Sputniks my little tomato cucumber sandwiches is It's only halfway through what I need to do because I need to now do another one. And now I've recorded this, I need to do this one as well. Blimey. So what I might do is... Yeah, I'm just going to just just get on and do it. I don't think I can... Let me just look at the stats. I want to see. I've got another website as well that I didn't tell you about. It's called, in fact, I'm going to remove that one. Remove. Get rid of that. Okay. So the websites I've got on WordPress. So let me bore you to sleep.com, deepsleepwhisper.com, and another one called freehypnosismp3s.com. And I've not finished building that website to be fair. I mean, it's up and running, but that's got all of my, or well, it will have all of my. Um, Episodes of every podcast, every you know, everything that I've done, but I don't promote that website at all. I've not sort of told anyone really about it. I might have mentioned it a couple of times, but it's 
it's not built it's so it's a lot to do it's a lot of stuff to put on there really but I do have statistics I'm just going to have a look to see if anyone's actually visited it statistics okay oh yes I had 160 I've had 71 visits and 160 171 visitors and 160 visits and it's grown oh, that's alright now see I haven't actually been on there for um, again I think that's the 5th of May that was built and it started getting some visits I didn't get any the first visit was the 8th of May yeah and that was one visit then the 9th of May two visits 10th seven visits four eight five and then it goes up 20 visits one day uh, yesterday I had yeah six visitors and 22 visits and today so far two visitors and three visits oh. and I've been doing nothing to promote that at all I mean zero I've not even completed it wow just shows doesn't it I know it's not like a huge amount 160 visits but it's considering I've given it no love and attention so I'm, that's going to be my next little thing that I'm going to be doing I've been working on my website the jasonnewland.com um, I'm still working on it to be fair that's going to take a, probably another few days and once that's done then I'll go to the free hypnosis mp3s and uh, work on that so let's just have a look see what the stats are for the others so what deep sleep whisper hypnosis no, deep sleep whisper dot com again these websites are very new they're very you know they're, they're not even three weeks about three weeks old so organically they don't it takes a while for the search engines to find to find them okay so for the deep sleep whisper again I started it on the 5th of May but the first visitor I got on the 8th of May and then it's kind of grown up and down and you know but I've had uh, 87 visitors and 257 visits yesterday I had 8 visitors and 26 visits so that's 26 pages they went to between them and today I've had 1 visitor and 2 visits that's a deep sleep whisper one so I come out of there and let me just see what the let me bore you to sleep one is doing I forget which one is the the one that's getting the most traffic so it's kind of these the podcast because the podcast have become more popular I decided to give them their own home and they've got their own home online of course you know with the podcasts and stuff but I thought I'd give them their own websites okay so this is let me bore you to sleep dot com again I started on the 5th of May so I must have built all these on the same day uh, I didn't get a visitor until the 8th of May which is one to be fair, it's probably me. Um, so I had 160 visitors and 346 visits. And 
yesterday I had nine visitors and 11 visits, but today I've had three visitors and four visits. So it's not bad considering we're only a few couple of hours into the day really, a few hours. The most visited page on that one is a hundred, yeah, let me bore you to sleep, 149, 14th of May. That's the most popular one out of all of them at the moment. I've got a comment. Let's have a look at the comment. Let your Bitcoins bring you plus 10% per two days. Trash. Okay, that's gone. So come out of there. Yeah, it's gone. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is what happens once I've finished a recording. I go through that process for each one. I do at least, try and do at least two recordings a day. The editing takes a little bit less with a deep sleep whisper because it's 20 minutes, not an hour long. But it's minimal by minutes, you know, as far as... So it doesn't, doesn't cut a lot of the time off, really. Um, so, yeah, so for every every recording, you're looking at sort of 60 to 70 minutes worth of uh, work online to get it up and out there. See, I'm not as lazy as you thought I was. And on Fridays, I make three sessions because I've got the weekly Friday one, the sleep hypnosis weekly. So that's three hours plus two hours of recordings and another 20 minute one. So yeah, two hour long ones and one 20 minute one. So that's three hours, three, four, five hours and 20 minutes, roughly. That sounds like work, doesn't it? I don't like that idea. Huh. Well, I've done three just now anyway, so I've done three today. And I'm just going to get on and do these. So take care yourselves and I shall speak to you tomorrow. And I hope that I was boring enough for you today. I would love to leave you with a, a big fart, but unfortunately I've used all my gas all my gas up. So Take care.